Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. So this video you're about to see on YouTube is a free preview of my course on Timeleaf and the Spring Framework, how they work together. If you like what you see in this series, head over to my website at springframework.guru and you can learn more about the full course. Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. So in this module, I have a coding assignment for you to do. It's a what I think is a pretty simple coding assignment, but it's something I haven't showed you specifically yet. So in the last module, I showed you how to replace content using Timeleaf, Timeleaf tags for both the, the link source for the CSS, the CSS source, and also the JavaScript source. Now, there's also a Timeleaf tag we can use to place the image source. So what we wanna do here is at the beginning of this module, I'm gonna leave you a link for the, the source code. In that source code, I've added an image folder with all, all the images on the index page. So there's there's uh, six images, and I've, I've added those in, into GitHub, so you can check that out. And what I want you to do is change the image tags from pointing to the CDN resource where, where they're hosted out externally, change those tags using timeleaf tag to render those from the static resources directory. So you'll find a folder called images. There'll be six images in there. And for each one of those, update it so that now Timeleaf is going to replace that to a, a local to the local resource rather than the CDN resource. I know I didn't show you this specifically, but it's a, a pretty standard Timeleaf tag. So I want to give you guys a little challenge. I don't want to be too easy on you as you work through this. So there, there's six tags that you need to change. And uh, good luck with it. Next module, we'll go through a quick code review and I'll show you exactly how I implemented it.